like they're moving this way. I just got instructions on hand signals. Up, down, tilt the forks up, tilt the forks down. I got this. I think some more greasing and maybe we're heading to the field. Indulge me or don't, you can skip ahead. We all matter, okay? And we're all in this together. That is just so much of my heart. <laughs> hey! <laughs> all right, Big Red, let's go home. Hey y'all, welcome back to our third attempt to get beans done. <laughs> We're trying, we're trying so hard. I really appreciate y'all being here. I appreciate your kind comments. Um, I appreciate those of you who have subscribed to the channel, leave comments and, and give a like. And if you haven't subscribed and you like my channel, I would be so appreciative if you would. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know where you're watching from. Thanks. All right, here we go. Well, day three, it's definitely gonna be a wash. It's raining. Just as well, Gertie's gotta be fixed anyway. And I have some things I need to catch up on. So, it all works out in the wash, right? See what I did there? Elmo! You hungry? Yep. Yeah. You hungry, baby? Maybe uh, just a little? Okay. I'm gonna help fix that. Yeah. Say, I'm doing good, everybody. Doing good. Better now, anyway. sarcastic there. Feeding in the rain. We're feeding in the rain. I wish it was a beautiful feeling. It's really not. But you gotta do what you gotta do. These babies are hungry. It's coming. a tree. See what I did there? There they are. They're at the end of the cornfield. Looks like they're moving this way. Mm -hmm. Sorry, not sorry for that amazing pun. I got 17. Is that what you got? 17 plus four makes 21. Is that the total? Yeah. Very good, everyone's accounting for. What are y'all doing down here? Hmm? Yeah?
Well, y'all, the mud is back. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot worse tomorrow. It's supposed to rain like this all day. Maybe a half inch or more. Oh well, it's what it is. Hey baby. I'm cold, are you cold? <clears throat> I bet it's dropped 10 or 15 degrees. What do you think? Uh, huh? At least. at least. Usually these gloves do good, but my fingers are cold. Uh, Yours are froze. Alright, I think it's time to go home and make some more coffee. And maybe a fire. <laughs> build a fire yet but it's in the short rows oh my soul I can promise you I don't remember ever seeing it snow in November that rhymes look at there it's snowing I mean I know that's obvious but I'm just I'm having a hard time believing it it was 55 degrees this morning when we woke up Honestly, don't know what it is right now, but somewhere it's at least 32, am I right? <laughs> How about that? I mean, it's certainly not gonna stick, but it's coming down. Wow. What do you think, Bonnie? <laughs> you think you're gonna stay here next to the fire? So we got our um, wood stove going for the first time this year and it's getting toasty warm. And watch where she lays. Watch, y'all. This is what she does. She'll put her head under the stove. That's where she'll stay all winter. Oh, along with her fur. Yeah. Maybe I'll vacuum sometime soon. Oh, my gosh. So much trash. <laughs> anyway. Is that a good place to be? Is that a good place to be? It's not just frost, y'all. It's like crunchy frost this morning <laughs> we are uh we're in the 20s and elmo is happy to get some more milk but some people have asked what what we feed him and it's specially formulated powdered milk that we mix with water very very warm water and um yeah he gets all the good things he needs and he enjoys it, can you tell? <laughs> the tail kills me. And he likes to hunch it sometimes. And this morning, it's officially took took weather. It's in my hat, my toboggan, when I wear this from uh, a Canadian friend. I have lots of friends up in Canada, thanks to the interwebs. Um, when I wear this, it's a toque, because that's what they call it, is a toque. It took me a while to learn how to say it, but it's toque, toque, yeah. <laughs> that's all, baby. That's all for now. We'll come back for lunch, okay? Oh, you sweet baby. I don't want that. What's that? That doesn't have anything in it. <laughs> All right, Bonnie, let's go feed some cows. If the truck's a knocking, we must be in the Chevy. All right, Bonnie? <laughs> oh boy, we're a little behind this morning. So we only had enough for three buckets of feed and we need three, six, nine, nine. So we got a we gotta grind some more feed, but we gotta fix something on the grinder first. Putting on this block.
going to put some oil on that rotor and this one is frozen. So let's try the good stuff. So that rotor is about, it's shot, needs to be replaced, but hopefully we can at least get this, this load done. Okay, cruel oil, it worked. I can't feel my hands, y'all. I have a hard time finding gloves that, that really keep my hands warm. Anyway. We finally made it, girls. We finally made it. Hey, Panda. Look out, babe. Hey, fatty. It's another cold morning on the farm. It's in the 20s. But yesterday, I was complaining about cold hands. Completely forgot, y'all. Completely forgot about these amazing gloves. Um, Axe Man. I can't read upside down. That my friend Stephanie gave me last year. She's a rancher in Nebraska. It gets cold in Nebraska. Colder typically than it does here. She swears by them. And I love them, and I completely forgot that I had them. So, problem solved. Mittens, y'all. Amazing mittens. Okay. Dogs are harassing the dairy cow. Come here, Clara. Some baby's hungry. What are y'all doing? It looks like snow. It's not. A good heavy frost, though. Bonnie, Clara, Clara, <whistles> come here. That'll do. I'm coming, baby. And I have a lap dog, Clara. No regard for personal space at all. Bonnie said she wanted to stay inside where it was warm. Clara said she wanted to go. So. Come on, girls. Fed and happy. <laughs> okay. Check that off for the day. Belly's full and warm, eating hay. Okay, now we're going on a field trip to pick up some seed. <laughs> we're taking two trucks so we can just put a pallet in each truck so we didn't have to hook up the trailer and everything. What kind of seed, you ask? I don't remember. Is this barley? Do you know? We'll find out. I know we already have some barley that hasn't gotten planted that needed to be planted a few weeks ago, but lack of weather cooperation and more of a lack of time hasn't happened. So, anyway, that's what we're doing. And the kids have been super smart this morning and got all their schoolwork done before lunch. Winning. Proud of you. <laughs> Heading home from a really nice farm, Hillview Farm, Danville, Virginia. We got a load, a couple loads of barley. They grow uh, and clean and sell seed. So, something else to get in the ground eventually. Seed dispersal time or unloading. That's a better word. Unloading. I just got instructions on hand signals. Up, down, 
tilt the forks up, tilt the forks down. I got this. Yay, that was actually uneventful. You did it. There's the bulls. Somebody said they wanted to see our bulls. Bulls, being bulls. <laughs> Picking up dirt. Well, what we have this morning is 30 mile an hour wind gust. <laughs> Probably not even gonna be able to hear me. So yeah, it's a little windy today. <laughs> it's a little windy. Um, it's a little cool. It's not cold. I mean, it's cold, but more so because of the wind. So uh, anyway, <sighs> all right, he got, a lot of work done on Gertie yesterday. I wasn't around to video it, sorry. But hopefully today he'll be able to finish. And like he said, this wind is actually good for helping dry things out. We haven't had a ton of rain, but we've had some this week. So this rain and sun for a change will help dry some things out and in a perfect world, he'd be able to get out there and pick some this afternoon. Cut. Harvest. <laughs> uh, if not, maybe tomorrow. So, we shall see. Farmer's Edge Weather Station. Woodrow. Woodrow the Weather Station. It's going to work out today. I'll have to go check the app and see what the wind speeds are reading. Woo! It's working well for us. We really like it, being able to check it every morning. If it rains, we get an automatic notification in our email telling us how much it rained. It's done really good for us. Okay, girls, go get some cow chow. Look like a line of dairy cows going to, going to milk, except obviously they're not dairy or going to milk but anyway same but not the same wait for us mom <laughs> oh what is that what is that standing there okay I'll back up <laughs> replacing a section on the blade right I didn't say it right earlier. <laughs> and that part is what was broke. I know that much. Getting closer to rolling again with the wind. There's a song there. I don't know it, but it's there. The search for grease fittings. Found it. The one in the wobble box is hard to get to. So we had to improvise, push it over. Okay, now we're about to push this blade back through here. I have this in case I need to pry it underneath those so it goes through it and doesn't get stuck. So that's what we're about to do. And I'm pretty sure I won't be able to hold the phone for this. So far so good. Okay, hold on. Okay. Got it. He's so smart to anticipate things like that. That's good. The blade is in. The blade is repaired. And that was that was the big hang up. So I think some more greasing and maybe we're heading to the field. And the grease goes on. 
And the grease goes on. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just unplugged it. <laughs> That's what I get for cleaning up too soon. How about this? <laughs> Fill her up. Time. Tell me when. Yeah, okay. Good sight. down here which is probably what he's coming to tell me we have to go get it I mean I know he hasn't forgotten but um yeah we're gonna need that <laughs> the birds y'all <gasps> the birds <laughs> the birds are back they're everywhere oh my word <laughs> Moved on to another little patch. It's getting full, I can see from here. Bars also make amazing back scratches, scratchers. <laughs> Excuse me, before somebody calls me out, it's not a crowbar, it's a pry bar. Pry bars make good back scratchers. Okay, we're going home to get the grain truck. And I don't know, I feel like saying this. Some of y'all are giving Gertie a hard time. This isn't a gleaner, this is a crappy bean head that we're having to deal with. <laughs> that will be uh, replaced by next year if we do beans, right? It's gonna be replaced, right? It's gonna be replaced what? Whatever we do. Whatever we do, whatever we do, it's gonna be replaced. So the gleaner itself has been doing great. It's just this head giving us a fit. So it is what it is. Okay, here's hoping that belt stays put. So I don't know all the technical jargon, but there is a, one of the pulleys is wobbly. That's not a good work. I'm thinking because of the wobble box, but no. Anyway, it's pushed out and it needs, no, it's one way and it needs to come back another way. Anyway, we didn't have any way to like wedge a piece of wood or something in there. So, 
we did the best we could. We got it back on track and we're just hoping it stays on track until we can get these done. We don't have a ton more to do and it sure would be nice to just be able to push out a couple hours and finish, but we know how that goes. <laughs> so we'll see. Like I said, that bean head will be replaced. It will be replaced. So I'm getting, you know, some comments from some people. Why do you have that old piece of junk? Whatever, I don't know. I try not to let it make me mad. I'm a little defensive of our, our gleaner though, because this thing has done a great job for us. We worked hard on it. It got us through corn harvest very well. And the only problem with bean harvest has really, has just been the bean head. Um, and that came with it. And he knew it wasn't in great shape, but we just hoped it would get us through. So, you know what, it is what it is. We will be, well, we are already looking for another one. Uh, so, that's that. It's just not possible to always have brand new equipment. And guess what? Guess what? Even brand new equipment breaks down. Yeah. And it has computers. And computers are harder to be worked on than equipment without computers in a lot of ways. I could be wrong. I could be wrong about that. Don't hold that against me. I'm just saying most of our equipment is paid for. So, uh, we're pretty happy about that. And my husband is basically a genius. I mean, he's a very good mechanic. That's what I'm saying. So, he finds a way to make it work. We find a way to make it work. And it works. Eventually. <laughs> all right. I guess that's all I'll say about that. Let me just get off of that little soapbox. Come back to life. All right. He's going to roll out with this field. I feel it. We're going to roll over to that field, which looks better from a distance. The beans are quite sparse, so pretty sure the yield is not going to be amazing. But this was the first year we've done beans. Some people have asked what we do with the beans. We're actually going to sell these beans. So we won't feed these beans. The corn, a lot of the corn we're feeding. We sold some of it. Um, but the beans will be sold. So we were hoping for a de decent yield. We'll see. Um, but it was our first time. So remains to be seen whether we'll do more next year or not. I feel like we probably will, but uh, with a different head. Hmm, I might need to move the truck. <laughs> that was close. So I started getting a little hungry. Look what I found though. A pack of broken up nabs. Nabs, for those of y'all who are new here and have never heard me refer to them. This is nabs, cheese crackers. Preferably not pulverized. Still, all goes down to the same place. Okay, half gone. Still good. Tastes fine. Just a little fine. <laughs> so I thought I was off my soapbox, but you know, I got to thank him because I'm just sitting here and I've got all this time to think. So indulge me or don't, you can skip ahead. Um, just been thinking, I don't ever want to come across like I'm against large farmers or big farms or people with awesome equipment, new equipment. Not at all. I think that's awesome. It takes all farmers to produce food and fiber for the world. It takes all of us. So, um, if you're a big time operator or a small time operator, we all matter. Okay. And we're all in this together. That is just so much of my heart. <laughs> just just realizing that we're all in this together, life, farming, all of it, and everybody matters. And what works for one might not work for another, and that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> so I'm just glad to be able to be here and sharing with you what we do 
for a living and how we make a life. Not so much a living as my husband says, but more of a life than anything. And I'm proud of what we do, how we do it, how we raise our animals, how we raise our, our crops, how we raise our children. <laughs> this life that we get to live, I'm proud of it. I'm happy, happy with it. I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to be able to share it with you. So I guess that's all I'm going to say about that right now. But I sure don't want anybody to think that I'm, I'm busting on anybody that has awesome new equipment. I mean, I'm not saying we would never take it if we could have it. It's just not, it's just not, uh, in the cards for us. <laughs> so we do, we do what we do with what we got to do it with. And, um, I don't know. These hard days just help you appreciate, help me, help us appreciate the good ones that much more. All right. I'm climbing down now, I promise. birds little bird patch mm -hmm. just just not turning out Evidently, this is just going to be the video where I sit in the truck and talk to you a lot. <laughs> We're getting so close to being done. Like, really, can see the end in sight, and it's a very good feeling. Um, I don't have much service down here, but, and my phone's about to die. But, I was just looking through some comments on my last video, Soybean Harvest Day 2. <laughs> And I just want to say that y'all are the best. And I'm, I, uh, I'm going to try not to get emotional. But really, your comments, your encouragement, your support, your love for our family and what we're doing. <laughs> and the struggles, the encouragement through the struggles is, um, it's really a beautiful thing. And I'm very grateful for you. I'm grateful for your support and your encouragement. Um, a lot of times I don't, I don't feel like, uh, we need thanks. Like I'm, I'm not huge on the whole think a farmer thing because we're doing what we want to do. We're doing what we love to do, you know, or for a lot of us, like my husband, it's just all he's ever known. It's just what he does. So, um, it's fine to think a farmer. I'm thankful there are farmers. I'm thankful to be a farmer. But sometimes I think that gets, uh, that can get, you know, blown up. And so I don't ever feel like anybody owes me or us thanks. But that being said, I do wish more people would trust a farmer. <laughs> um, and, you know, that, I think that's just one thing I like about being able to do this and putting these videos out and sharing with you what we do and how we do it and why we do it. Just for for people to understand more about what goes into food and fiber and grain production. And um, grain would be considered food, obviously. Um, <laughs> but there's just so many, there's so many people out there fighting, fighting against us as farmers. And there's so few of us now um, doing, doing this type of work. So, thanks is fine. Trust is even better. And your encouragement and your support, it means the world. So I'm just going to leave that right there. And maybe I'm done with all this truck chat. Maybe. <laughs> leaving this. 
homeward bound. Yeah, that's it, y'all. That's all she wrote. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> the belt holds. I mean, the belt held. It held. Woo! Good feeling. Good feeling. Yeah. perfect but it went and you know what in the end that's what matters it went all right I'm starting to get emotional so I'll sign off thank y'all appreciate you so much all right Miss Gertie we'll be back for you you done good I don't care what anyone says you done good Yeah. 